So, you want to build your very own intranet? Relax, I've got you covered. Hi everyone, I'm Virtual Frank from Lafayette, Indiana. Our internet works great, and I'm going to show you how to make yours work great. First, you're going to need four things. Obviously, you're going to need a server, and of course, an intranet design. And in keeping with this course, you're going to need a few crystal reports and some interested users too. With these four ingredients, your intranet will rock. Now, hopefully your web designer has already made the website and someone's put it on the C drive of your server. Let's start the ball rolling by going to Start, Programs, Admin Tools, and choose the IIS Manager. Here we go. From here, right click on your server name. Now, choose New and Website. Hey, we've got a wizard! Hurrah! Hit Next. Give your website a name of your choice, something like My Intranet, and accept the default setting here. Now, point to where your web folder is on your hard drive. C drive. Cool intranet. Now hit OK. Now hit Next, and Next again. Now hit Finish. Pretty simple, huh? Hey, what's that? You'll notice the word Stopped appeared next to your new website. What's that all about? Well, let's finish the install first. First, we'll need to set your home page so your intranet has a starting point. Let's go back to the IIS Manager. Right-click on your server name and choose Properties. Then Edit. Now, move to the Documents tab to set up the home page. You'll want to put your name here and move it to the top. There we go. Click on the Service tab and select the name you call your website. Next, you'll hit Select All and hit OK. Ah, that's strangely easy. Almost done with the server part. Back to your IIS, stop the default website from running, and start yours. And there it is. Woohoo! And there you go. Now go to a client machine and enter your intranet server's name in the browser window. Now you've got connectivity. Woo! Big deep breath. Now let's do the mysterious crystal portion. Wave the magic wand. Here's a secret. If you set up a full install of Crystal Reports Developer on your server, it should be ready to rock your world. Now make sure your web guy or gal has put the Crystal Reports into the web design so that you can all enjoy your hard work. Take a bow. You've earned it. Now this was a pretty basic presentation, and there are certainly more advanced techniques out there. I hope Virtual Frank has helped you, and if you need to, this is where you get a hold of me. Thank you. Thank you very much.